I was um, working on a placement at Saatchi and Saatchi. It was like a whole new world opened up to me and I just kind of thought that it would be really nice to do something where you had final say on what you were doing. Anything that you look at and you realise it's saying something completely different. Books, film, everything, um, everyday life, any work that when I walk into a room and see it, my heart sort of misses a beat and I fall in love with it. So anyone who makes that kind of work, and it can look like many different things, that inspires me. Any new body of work, you um, make your first position and, and you have a look at it and see what you've got. I've just started work again on, on more works in this series and inevitably things shift slightly. I needed to explore some, some new ways of making. I, I think for me, when I feel a piece is finished, everything goes calm around the work and, and quiet and it just takes on its own identity and I'm not in charge of it anymore. What I want is endless possibilities. I don't find structure particularly helps me in, in the beginning because I'm open to everything. I'm totally undisciplined. I love crosswords so there's something about precision and, and thinking that I really enjoy. And my brain doesn't operate particularly brilliantly within tight structures. very good at dealing with failure, it happens a lot. When things have worked, they can be a bit of a dead end because they're finished, they're complete. Failure is about things being incomplete. Things don't necessarily fail, it's just that I'm looking at them the wrong way. So if I can shift my perspective, then they'll work. There has to be something communicating to someone except myself, or else I'm just in a dark room on my own.